Um, hi everyone, it's a real pleasure for me to tell you a little bit about the work that I've recently completed on big giant birds from Madagascar. These birds are called the Epionidae and they are um, extinct. They probably went extinct about between 300 and 400 year, uh, years ago and so very recently and Interestingly, we know very little about their biology, even though they overlap with humans. The fascinating thing about these birds is that they were much, much larger than our modern largest bird, which is the ostrich. Ostriches, of course, stand about 2.5 meters tall and they weigh about 150 kilograms. These epionidae actually weighed about 650 kilograms and they probably were about three meters tall. These birds are really very big as you can see and their eggs were really enormous. If you look at this picture you can see that the eggs were roughly about the size of my head so really really big and we think that they were over exploited by people um, I mean, if you think about such a big egg feeding a, a large family, we think that these birds actually um, were overexploited. The eggs were overexploited, which may have led to their extinction. So today we find the bones of these birds, and my research actually dealt with trying to understand the biology of these birds by looking at the bone microbes. By analyzing thin sections of the bones under the microscope, I was able to show that these birds took about 10 years to grow up. This is really quite significant because we know modern birds grow very quickly, very rapidly, and they become adult body size very quickly. Whereas these birds took a long time to grow up and in their bones, we see these cyclical patterns of growth which tells us that they were affected by environmental conditions, which probably also affected their physiology. And this actually led to these slow growth patterns uh, during periods of the year. And we see this very, very clearly in the bone tissues, as you can see. So we've been able to show that these birds were affected by the environmental conditions. They took a long time to grow up. And there were very many other interesting um, aspects of their bone tissues that tell us even more about their biology. I suggest that you look up our paper that's just been published in the Biological Journal of the Linnaean Society and you'll find lots more interesting details about the bone structures and that tells us about the biology of these wonderful enigmatic birds that live in Madagascar. Thank you.